Hello, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to create network definitions. To create network definitions, we'll first want to be logged into the web admin of our UTM. Once logged into the web admin of our UTM, select Definitions and Users from the menu, followed by Network Definitions from our submenu. Under the Network Definitions tab, this is the central place for defining hosts, networks, and network groups for our UTM. The definitions created here can be used on many other web admin configuration menus. Opening the Network Definitions tab by default, all network definitions are displayed. Using the drop down list from the list, you can choose to display network definitions with certain properties. Note when you click the info icon in the network definitions list, you can see all configuration options in which the network definition is used. The network table also contains static networks which were automatically created by the system and which can neither be edited or deleted. Note that user network objects authenticated via client authentication will always be shown as unresolved due to performance reasons. To create a new network definition, select the new network definition button. Once we select the new network definitions button, the network definitions dialog box opens. Here we can adjust the parameters for our network definition. The first thing that we'll want to do is enter a name or a description for our new definition. In this example, we'll just go ahead and name this network definition. Next, we're ready to define which type of network definition this is. Select the type by selecting the drop-down arrow. To create a standard IP network consisting of a network address and a net mask, we'll select the network type. Here we can then enter in an IP address followed by a net mask. Here we can enter the network address of the network. Note that you cannot enter the IP address of a configured interface. We can then define the bit mask used to tell how many bits in an octet to identify the subnetwork and how many bits provide room for host addresses. Once you are satisfied with your new network definition, you would then just simply select the Save button.